in the you know past uh, one to two years, we are basically seeing two perfect storms hitting China. One is the trade war, the other one is the COVID nineteen. So that all raised the same question that we might need more kind of the diversification. We can't concentrate on one particular market, one uh, particular manufacturers. Yes, the, uh, in the medium to longer term, yes. That could be potential risk for, for China. But in the near term, I think the chance is still quite low because, frankly speaking, now we are seeing a global pandemic. So where can you move to, right? So it's a bit difficult for a company to move uh, in the near term. And also, uh, China also demo demonstrate certain kind, kind of the strengths uh, in uh, recovery, uh, in, in supporting the whole global uh, industry chain. So, I mean, in the near term, I would say uh, the competitive advantage will be still in China side. So I think China may still keep its position as the global manufacturers. But tell me, when you look at mainland China, it seems you're among those who are saying the worst is over in terms of the economic impact from the coronavirus as businesses start to reopen. Do you think we've seen the worst yet, though, when it comes to the hit to the consumer? Because this will be a critical element to the recovery. Right. So if you look at the Chinese economy, I mean, we do see a quite nice uh, V-shaped recovery in terms of the production, but we haven't seen that uh, in terms of the consumption. So if you look at the consumption, it's still kind of like a sluggish. I think there's uh, probably about three reasons for uh, behind that. I mean, the first reason is really because uh, in terms of the containment measure this strong, it's unprecedented. So it's very tough. So it takes longer time for a consumer to recover. I mean, the second reason also in terms of the income growth, we do see the negative real income growth in the first quarter. So that didn't, uh, you know, pending very well for, for the upcoming consumption capability. I mean, the third reason uh, we are seeing is also in terms of other um, consumption sentiment because we have the global pandemic. People are worried about their future earnings. So I think if we put everything together, plus we are going to see the demand shock uh, from the global uh, market. So I, I do think the recovery in China will be quite slow. So especially from the consumption side, I think it will take some time for China to recover to its uh, so-called full potential.